you've got $25 to spend on a family meal. You check the paper for sales, make your list, and head to the grocery. But this is no ordinary store, and these aren't your everyday shoppers. The Super B Market, B for Good Behavior, is actually part of a classroom at North Stewart Elementary near Dover. The boxes and cans are really empty, but the shelves are stocked with life lessons. My whole class liked it. Uh -huh. And my little sister, she'll come home and she says how excited she is that she can buy stuff from a grocery store by herself. Students learn about the nutritional value of food. Here second graders use blocks to understand portion sizes. On the shelves, some labels read heart healthy, while others are in different languages. Shopping assignments also become a study in money, including how to spend and budget. My fourth grader knows how to make change now, so mm -hmm. I think it's a great program. Organizers also hope students learn math, reading, language, even social skills through this exercise. Anything can be a teachable moment, including a trip to the grocery. So many things that uh, that are essential that we know for everyday life, the children are not getting. So we put the grocery store in so that they could get those everyday life skills. UT Extension in Stewart County helped start the store, but they were far from alone in this effort. Every item here was donated by area businesses or citizens, including an old treadmill that became part of the register. So we started last fall collecting the product and shelving and equipment that we needed for the grocery store and we have put the grocery store in with zero dollars. So it's, it's all a community effort. After we have our groceries, it's time to check out. While these youngsters don't leave with real food, they do take away skills, knowledge and experience. And that's always a bargain. This is Chuck Denny reporting.